Tonight we are hearing exclusively from Education Secretary Hannah Scandera. After four years, she was finally confirmed today. Action 7 News reporter Kirsten Swanson spoke to Scandera just minutes after the vote. It's been a long road to get to this moment. On a 22-19 vote, the New Mexico Senate made Governor Susana Martinez pick for Education Secretary official. And Hannah Scandera finally saw the word designate removed from her title. She spoke only to Action 7 News right after the vote. I'm humbled and excited um, all at the same time. Scandera has been on the job for four years, but this was the first time her confirmation even made it to a vote of the full Senate. Before it got there, she had to sit through a Senate committee meeting this morning. Her supporters cited her passion for improving New Mexico's education system. I think she did an excellent job this morning. She did a great job last year and the year before that too. But Scandera also has plenty of critics who say she doesn't have the background for the job. She is not an educator, was not trained in education, has not been in a classroom, has not even been an administrator in the public schools. Many teachers showed up at the Roundhouse today to speak out against Scandera. They believe that she's not qualified for that position. I kind of think that's uh, uh, been there, done that, if that was a real issue. That should have been taken care of four years ago. The newly minted secretary, Scandera, tells me she's not going to let the criticism stop the progress she says New Mexico has made. We have a long way to go, but we have begun to see results. We're proud of those results. We're going to champion the heck out of them. And she says she'll continue to push schools, teachers, and students to be better. In Santa Fe, Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Governor Martinez's office sent this statement after Scandera's confirmation saying she is pleased with the vote and the governor and the secretary will continue to put the needs and achievement of our students first as we work to improve their opportunities for success in life.